Yeah, I quit. We finally quit. Just throw everything in the bag and say, I quit. Why we ultimately quit our retire early life. Uh, that's it, I'm done. I'm done with my retire early lifestyle. And I don't wanna talk about it anymore, so I quit. Today we're gonna talk about why I quit. And I'm just so sick and tired of talking about it. The current event since 2020, we all know what it is. And I don't wanna talk about it anymore, so I quit. Okay. I quit. Welcome to Frank and Angie's Retire Early Lifestyle at home or abroad. Step into my office, let's talk about this. Yeah, I quit, you know it. I. Some of you have been on this channel, you know I've said this before. And I'm sitting here trying to rack my brains. Is it rack my brains? Put it on a rack and swat it. What is, don't do this. Rack my brains trying to figure out how not to talk about current events. The last two years, you sit here and you look at articles and all that comes up is articles about current events. And of course, that's normal in the, uh, in the realm of a news reporting to cover uh, current events, but it just so happens that it's overwhelming. The current event. The current event since 2020, we all know what it is. And I'm just so sick and tired of talking about it. And I don't want to talk about it anymore, so I quit. Okay. I quit. We're done. I mean, remember the good old days when things seemed to be so good? Actually, you know what? That is relative. That's relative to what you're comparing it to. And a lot of people compare the current events with the lack of these current events prior to the current events. You know what I mean? 2018. And so it is that I see this article that says that Mexico is 90, and it's not just Mexico, I'll get to that in a second. Mexico, Central America, South America, you're going to want to hear this if that's uh, on your radar. That includes Ecuador, Costa Rica, Panama, all of it. Mexico. It said that Mexico has a 90% masking rate. And again, it's not, I don't want to talk about this. It's like we made a video. What was the last video that we just made? A day in Mexico. A day in Mexico. What's it like? What's it like? And we're sitting there panning with our camera and we didn't say a word. And people in the comments are like, why are so many people, why is everybody wearing masks? outside it's like outside really outside come on you can't catch anything outside then I see this article oh Mexico has a 90% mask rate which is one of the highest in the world there's some close runners up Italy's one of them but it turns out that the undersecretary and I'm not sure what undersecretary means is oversecretary undersecretary <laughs> I, yeah, I have to look that one up. Literally came out and said, look guys, uh, these things don't work. I mean, it's not that they won't work at all in any situation. They will work a little in some situations, but clearly not uh, across the board for everyone. Uh, and even so, the undersecretary making these statements, people are just ignoring it. Not to mention the president, same thing. And I know why, I mean, I have my opinions on that. They're always vilified in the media here. There is a mainstream media here in Mexico. And they're always vilified and made fun of. And, uh, you know, and... But the crazy thing is, go so ask yourself this. If you're Mexican and you fall into this group, ask yourself this. You see all these news about all these people that are dying, and yet Mexico has one of the highest masking rates in the world. So is that working? If Mexico has the high, one of the highest masking rates in the world, and yet you're being bombarded every single day, which you are, in the news about how many people are dying. Think about it. Think about it. Is it working? That, that's all you got to do is answer that honestly. 
because it takes honesty with oneself to be able to answer that without putting up barriers in your own mind. And then the article went on to say why they're likely to do it, and one of them is peer pressure, because everybody's doing it. And so it's sort of a self-replicating deal where, hey, everybody's out there doing it. I, you know, I might as well do it. It must be something to it, you know. You know, I mean, free choice. That's that's the point. Free choice. If somebody wants to do it, great. And if they don't, they should be able to not do it. But that's not what the stores are doing. They're forcing people to engage in this behavior here in the stores in Mexico, which is interesting in light of the fact that these things are being ratcheted back in a lot of places in the world. Interestingly enough, you also see articles within this, this same article about countries that have totally done, they just have totally scrapped this whole 2020 agenda. But in the same article, they say how many people are getting hospitalized and how many people are dying to just to, just to make this point that oh they're they're mistaken they're mistaken and so but the problem with that thinking is this if they're not doing the the mandatory measures and they're mistaken but you are doing the mandatory measures and you still have all the deaths and hospitalizations then where's the problem <laughs> oh uh, I, you know, just give me liberty. I'll take that side any day if nobody's right. <laughs> Maybe nobody's right and everybody's right. And uh, that's the point with, uh, you know, freedom of choice. But I digress. As I said, I quit. And it's just getting crazier by the day. You quit for 30 seconds. I mean, how do you quit when you can't even go outside and you're surrounded? <laughs> right. You know, and it's interesting because people, they, they come to these places and then they want to look for, where can I go, you know, in Mexico to avoid this? Well, guess what? You just came to the place in the 90% percentile of uh, maskness. Oh, and moving on, vindicating or proving exactly what I said in a few videos back about, I have a friend that's in Chile and uh, she said she's, she's ready to just chuck all of South America. The article went on to say that South America, Latin America in general, this includes Central America, South America and Mexico, um, all of these places are more prone to being high percentile mask areas. And uh, so that tells you something about all of Latin America. And it's true, because I know we've made videos, and we, we were in Ecuador, and the amount of people outside doing this, uh, you know, let alone being on a, in, a, in a room with no windows and no ventilation with a bunch of people or something like that, just obvious situations where you're going to be more prone to catching something, which, by the way, has been happening since uh, creation. Uh, you know, nothing new under the sun. But, uh, yeah, no, it's not mandatory here. That's the point. It's not mandatory in law. It's outside. Outside. It's not mandatory in law outside, but yet you have this 90% thing going on. And so that's why we're talking about it, because it makes no sense. So, all right, let's go ahead and go home and, and have those tacos now. Let's go home and have those tacos and... Uh, Thanks for coming to the channel and uh, hope you got something out of that. Have a wonderful day. We finally quit.